<laughs> so Tarek's Life says, upload the section of, of stream as a video and they'll probably come out of the woodwork. No, they don't have phones. They don't have, they don't have laptops. So I don't have to worry much about it. Yeah, we talked about anarcho-primitivism. And there are some issues uh, with it, as um, as pointed out in chat. Sneaky Revenant says, anarcho-primitivism also kind of seems ableist because some people rely on technology. And then um, they give some examples. Krenna says, um, laser eye surgery, those implanted defibrillators, <laughs> insulin pumps, all technology, yeah. And even just glasses, you don't need eye surgery, as Sneaky Revenant says. Or noise canceling for people with sensory issues. Neb nebulizers. I don't. I don't even know what that. Don't even know what that is. That is for people with breathing problems. Those stabilizing spoons for people who, whose hands shake too much for them to feed themselves. There's a lot. And the the issue with it is not even like in terms of of like yeah it is ableist but one of the big issues is um, the fact that. Our population is a bit too big for the earth to provide for everyone uh, in a primitive matter without industrialization. And uh, even like many primitivists agree with that. I learned that from uh, from uh, an anarchist FAQ on uh, anarcho primitivism, which you should check out if uh, it should be on uh, an anarchist FAQ YouTube channel if if you're watching this segment. A lot of anarcho primitives like recognize the fact that there might not be enough resources um, if we don't if we don't maximize their potential through industrialization. Not enough resources for everyone. For like, how many people are there right now in in the world? Uh, world population. We're almost eight billion people. The world can't survive on primitivist um, ways. For like the the Earth can't provide for eight billion human beings if we drop all of industrialization and all of technology so a lot of what the like the criticism of of, of anarcho-primitivism also comes from the fact that you'll either need a lot of people to die or over the years we reduce population enough so that we can finally one day live uh primitively but reducing the population can be can be kind of cringe one question that the anarchist FAQ asks is, will you continue to manufacture uh, contraception or are we going to advocate for abstinence? If you manufacture contraception, you need you need factories, you need that technology. Um, and are you going to force people to get sterilized or are you going to force people to, to, to use contraception? Elsie says, also, there's a question of what technology we're dropping. Are all tools too advanced? Uh, too advanced? Some? Where's the line? Yeah, that's another good question. Um, he ponders, what would we keep? Labor-saving devices? Unless they involve no division of labor. Uh, for example, a lever, lever, for as some people say, or incline. This concept is a, fic a fiction. Behind the saving is hidden the congealed drudgery of many, of many and the despoliation of the natural world. So from what I understand, is any technology that 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 requires or involve live, uh, division of labor if i understand correctly from this little uh, segment and what portion of the population will likely die off that's the thing that's another that's another good question if you if you have to reduce uh population sizes then how will you reduce it is it gradually or is it overnight um to make a primitivist world sustainable and one thing I don't think they mention in the in the text, but that's something I was talking, I was thinking about, because they they did mention um, uh, like keeping the the population size low for 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 the Earth to be able to to sustain uh, people in primitive manners. One thing that they ask is uh, they talk about contraception, which is a good a good topic, because contraception is I guess there might be ways of doing contraception that are not that don't require division of labor or industrialization or whatever. Um, but let's say that without industry, contraception is going to be a lot less uh, accessible and prevalent. Now, let's say we are in our anarcho-primitivist uh, ideal society, right? Our utopia. And then we are at like maybe 2 billion. I don't, I don't know how much, how, like how much the earth can, can sustain, how many humans the earth can sustain uh, without industrial, uh, industrialization. But let's say we're 2 billion, right? 
how are we going to control the population or the population from 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 growing especially if we don't have access to to contraception or you know access to abortion which you know they need a lot of tools that are issue, like that, are, that come from industrialization LC doesn't like the idea of weaving their own condoms every time they want to have fun with someone i know but it'll make you enjoy it even more because of all the labor you had to put into it you know you know the anticipation while you weave your own condom if it takes you like two hours that's two hours of like anticipation and of what do you young young people call it edging is that what young people <laughs> yeah krena uh, that's that's a common um criticism the natural course would be uh, to let folks who rely on tech to survive to just die i don't agree with that at all i think most people won't agree with it there's a kind of natural selection that would creep into our social organization in anarcho-primitivism where the the weak die and the thing is without modern medicine without industrialized medicine that's what would happen and this is what I mean when I say, how do you keep the population low when we don't have contraception and no um, and no way of having abortions once we, we have this uh, anarcho-primitivist uh, utopia? No contraception unless you work really hard on or become very um, creative. Um, and no abortion. Population, uh, or at least rates of pregnancy will, will skyrocket. And population will grow again until the world can't sustain humanity anymore and then populations will be restricted by the lack of resources by uh diseases and famines and blah 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 blah. yeah it sounds like uh, anarcho primitivism is eugenics right that doesn't actually sound like much of a utopia no it doesn't i feel like um Anarcho-primitivism, I've never met an anarcho-primitivist. I haven't even uh, ever spoken to one online or seen someone defend it. I don't know how much of a thing it actually is. If if it is a thing, I think it comes from people who, who try to be as radical as possible or from people who just hate society. You know, it, it might come from a, from a, uh, from a position of, of hatred, right? And I've met... I've, I have met people who are misandrist or people who hate society, right? They, 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 they hate modernity, which in itself can sometimes tend to fa like lead you to fascism. Um, yeah, I met, I, met, I met some guy who was like really, really against modernity and against industrialization and um, because he sees the alienation coming from it. And, you know, that, that's, that's fair and all. Um, but I think one thing that can that can be good is to introduce that person to anarcho primitivism yeah there you go Alt Zerge, uh confirms my uh, my um, <laughs> my preconceived notions of what anarcho primitivists are he's uh, they say i met one anarcho primitivist once but it did seem like a radical stance born of fury yeah yeah i i i feel like there there might be like some 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 uh, there could be some um overlapping tendency between anarcho-primitivist and, and fascist at least in the terms of like rejecting modern uh, modernity and going back to a glorified past if someone hates modernity because they feel like it's alienating and they want to go back to that glorified past i feel like maybe like introducing them to anarcho-primitivism might be a good way of de-radicalizing them in the sense that like, yeah, you become like an anarcho-primitivist. You're like, yeah, anarchism, cool. It sounds really cool. I like the aesthetics because, you know, fascists also like aesthetics. And uh, I want to go back to like primi uh, like a primitive, you know, when more of a traditional time. And then you can have discussions with other anarchists who will eventually say, yeah, but for it to work, you need to like kill so many people and so many people have to die. And maybe perhaps at that moment, this person can say, oh, fuck, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe the alienation that I hate isn't actually coming from industrialization, but comes from capitalism. You know, like the kind of um, de-radicalization through proximity. <laughs> so Tarek's Life says, upload the section of, of stream as a video, and they'll probably come out of the woodwork. No, they don't have phones. They don't have, they don't have 
laptops, so I don't have to worry much about it. <laughs> Unless they learn that language is a tool as well. Yeah, language is... Um, actually, I think there has been some uh, anarcho-primitivists that argued against language. It's hard to take them seriously. If I remember correctly, I saw that. But again, I don't know how... Like, that can't be... That can't be widespread. I could try to find it, but... Uh, it look, I, I found it, I found it. How this current expresses itself is diverse, with the most extreme elements seeking the end of all forms of technology, division of labor, domestication, progress, industrialism, what they call mass society, and for some, even symbolic culture, i.e. numbers, language, time, and art. They tend to call any system which includes these features civilization, and consequently aim the destruction of civilization. Which is kind of funny. That that's the yeah. I'm not joking. Th yeah, the, this this is this is this is them. Apparently, I don't know. Maybe maybe anarchist anarchist FQ is taking like a very fringe part of 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 anarcho primitivism and makes it a uh, blows it up to be you know more serious than it is. Words just lead to conflict. Okay, words can be used to um, dominate the other. <laughs> 